Hi guys, so sorry about the late start today. We had a lot of stuff going on, insensible at work. So, kind of delayed start, but you know, better late than never and all that jazz. Um, um, just got off the last meeting, to be very honest. So, not, not really nice, but that's how life is, I suppose. Um, okay, so let's get started. Listen, yesterday I had said that, you know, if somebody puts a gun on my head, I'll actually go ahead and shoot, but I don't want to shoot unless there's a gun on my head. Luckily, there was no real gun. And luckily, even in case there was a real gun, the shot kind of worked. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, the price action story continues. Uh, uh, very interesting. Somebody gave like a very useful information. Nitin, Nitin says, FIA data 5 crore is block deal. Okay, we'll see here. I mean, you know, block deal, no block deal means what it means. So. Okay, so let's start. get started with the chart. See, today, Nifty chart is very clearly negative. Why? Because this is what you call a classic bearish engulfing. Very, very clear, very clear engulfing. But the futures chart is not really engulfing. The spot chart is engulfing. Now, this is a little bit of controversy because some people say that, first, you know what? If you're trading something, then you should look, the, look at the chart of the thing that you're trading and not of the underlying, right? But let's put it this way, Nifty has a bearish engulfing. Futures chart also is negative because at the zone of volume profile, it is giving negative price action. Uh, it is still somewhere at the threshold of this bullish engulfing, which we saw here. And there can be a bounce back. But, um, but you know, if this consolidates at this level, right? If we get one more negative candle, we clearly know what it is going to look like. And that one more negative candle could also correspond to this channel being taken out. So what's my verdict on the channel? Unfortunately, again, somebody has to bring a gun on my head today for me to give a clean verdict, which is, which is I'm, you know, somebody was saying, Ki, aap kuch bol you just say, Ki, if it is bullish, it is bullish, if it's bearish, it's bearish. But dude, the thing is this, right? Like we had times when you were very clearly having like judgment calls on, uh, you know, all the indices, but Agar view hai nahi to kyu bolo ge view fall to Matlab, To give wrong advice is actually costing money to people, right? Might as well not trade. Push away, or kyu karna trade. So, sorry. Let me just adjust it a little bit. Yeah, this is a little bit more up. So yeah, this is still very much in the channel. Okay, let's not make any mistakes there. This trade has not broken out of the channel, although this channel is going to be, yeah, this is more like it. Yep, yeah, this is kind of good. Sorry, sorry, I should have done this before this call, but you know, before the start of this webinar, that is. Okay, so this is the channel, it's still very much in the channel. But the truth is that we got a negative candle on our daily uh, <coughs> thoughts, right? Uh, but that is a spot chart. Please bear in mind that future has, has not given the same thing. Now let us look at today's option chain activity. Not this option chain. Sorry, I should look at the open interest. Heavy call writing at 15700, 15800, 750, 15800. So this is huge. 8 million calls added, 1 million puts added overall. And this option chain, you can clearly see that it is a very confident looking call side, not so confident put side. And the middle ground, nobody wants to do nothing. In fact, this is very interesting, right? Nobody is confident of doing 5700 calls or puts because there's heavy uncertainty here. So probably not a good idea to do strangles, sorry, straddles at all here. This is confidence. This is kind of okay. I mean, not like real confidence, but you know, people are like, okay, fine. I'll an attempt was made, right? <laughs> so this is this is clear. 5800 seems like tomorrow's uh, top end of the range. Uh, and PCR is down. Yesterday it was 0.9, today it is 0.8. So let's note them both. Monthly expiry, very important uh, that PCR is down and uh, there is massive call rating on the top side. 
Now let us look at FIA option data. So monthly data is very uh, interesting because this is diverging. This red is more than green. Also, uh, today 29,000 puts were bought and 7,000 calls were bought, which is 20k net puts buy. Right? So uh, daily data is actually very negative because 20k call minus 2, puts minus call. There are 20k more puts than calls bought today. Finally, FIA futures data is mildly positive, 300 crores, and FIA stock data is 3,000 crores. 3,000 crores is very big, right? Nitin Sajjad was saying that, you know, today there was a block deal or something, but that's 5 crores, he said. So I don't know, I don't. Yeah, the thing is this, right? <laughs> like, we see what we see. And probably there was a block deal. What was the quantity of the block deal anyway? Okay. Okay. 5,000 crores. Oh, okay. 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 So then it is interesting, right? Yeah. Thank you. I didn't know this. Um, I didn't know this. So like, thanks for this comment. So FI stock data is not massively positive. If you take out the 5,000 crore UBL block deal, it is minus 1500 crore sell. So, you know what, I'll just make sure that we add this uh, <coughs> block deal information and filter it, right? So, so then the verdict is pretty clear. The bias is heavily negative. I am still going to wait and watch on the channel. But today, right, for example, if somebody asks me without really putting a gun on my head, was trade to karna hai padega, no gun, but you have to trade, then I'll actually short. Why? Because uh, very negative monthly data very negative FIA data, decrease in PCR, massive call rating, this bearish engulfing candle, uh, <clears throat> bottom of the channel is so close and if it cracks the channel which it has tried so many times to crack, <clears throat> right, we can see massive downside whereas the upside is lower than the downside. So if you ask me what would I want to do, uh, so I would still prefer trading once the channel looks weak. But if at this point somebody asks me, I would rather keep my bias on the <coughs> short side than long side. Definitely not going to buy calls, definitely not going to buy futures. I'll prefer selling uh, calls and you know shorting futures if I can. Uh, but for tomorrow, right? <coughs> nothing new in the morning because you know it's expiry day and you know there's no point in entering a trade at the start of the morning. Uh, if I have short calls, you can hold on to them till premium drops. So for example, I squared off my 16,000, 15,800 and 15,900 calls, all of them this uh, even afternoon or evening, whenever it was, because it was like some 16 rupee premium, right? If I sold something for 50 and the premium is 16, why, why gamble for that last thousand? I mean, I could be wrong, but you know, that's what I prefer doing. Let's go to Bank Nifty because there's more interesting stuff happening in Bank Nifty. Let me turn off the daylight filter. <clears throat> okay, Bank Nifty is super interesting. This channel is gone. Bank Nifty clearly, the channel is gone. The thing is, there is this bullish hammer and the engulfing surrounding it. But this channel for sure is gone. So my bias on Bank Nifty is <clears throat> for sure bearish. Because yesterday also we were saying that today Bank Nifty will go down. For the simple reason that it is testing the bottom end of this channel and it did not offer any kind of <coughs> rejection wick. So if it was testing here and it did not give any rejection wick and it is still going down, I would expect Bank Nifty to give you further downside. So today also was a unidirectionally trending negative candle on Bank Nifty. Uh, fair bit of volumes also. <coughs> so even if I were to look at this. Uh, bank nifty futures ka graph it's still below the channel so bank nifty looks <coughs> for sure negative and it will become positive only if it is able to break back into the channel and above this level which is 35,000 so above 35,000 
I will consider the Bank Nifty bullish if it sustains. But if it is going to not crack 34, 800 or 700 zone, I would absolutely consider this a short. Having said that, please <coughs> uh, pay attention to this 100 DMA here. It can offer some kind of support and then this 50 DMA here, which also can act as some kind of support. But at this point, I would absolutely not go long Bank Nifty. Finally, going to USDINR. Which monitors are, are those? Yeah, nee, nee, this is a fake background here. Yeah. This is not. Uh, tomorrow there is Reliance AGM. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So let us look at USD INR future. <coughs> USD INR future again. We talked about this. This confluence of 150 DMA is the level to watch. <coughs> Maybe you will get another entry here, and if this level sustains, you can consider going long again. But please be watchful of this level. If this level breaks, USD INR can give. So here's the thing, right? I'm not going to say it is going to hold this level or not. We are nobody to judge if this level will hold or not. But there's a high probability that it can go down, come to this level, which is the confluence of 150 DMA. At that point, if it sustains, consider an entry. How do you know it sustains? There is a good reversal candle or a green candle with nice volumes means that it can sustain. Right? So I will absolutely watch USDNR for these levels. USDNR weekly chart also looks strong because, you know, this was a strong candle and the base of this candle is always going to act. The rejection wick of this candle is always going to act as a support. So if the USDINR is going to be positive, highly unlikely Nifty will be positive. So in totality, right, uh, considering the fact that FIA has been selling for the last few days, minus the bond block deal in cash, that futures data has been negative, that options data has been negative, etc., etc. I, I really think there's a high probability that uh, this thing will... <coughs> What's the deal with SGX Nifty? Because I don't see that it's just flat lanes after India close. When does it open? What, what's been happening here? Does anyone know what's the deal? Because yesterday also it did not update after 3.30. Are they like stopping trading at 3.30 like India or what's the deal? <clears throat> One last thing, Reliance chart, not that I under Reliance or I trade Reliance, but you know, if you can read one chart, probably you can read other charts. Huh. Reliance chart, tomorrow is AGM. The, uh, you know, broader theme of course is events pay, we should not gamble. Gambling on events is not intelligent trading. But Reliance is in the channel. <clears throat> if you consider this a channel, why would you want to do this? There's no point in punting on Reliance. Reliance can give further upside because monthly chart pay at least there's a bullish engulfing here. Okay, Reliance gave a bullish engulfing. Okay, so Reliance, right? I'm not going to say if it's, you know, I'm not going to take a, a gamble here, but just to purely interpret this. This was a channel, this was a bullish hammer, this was a bullish engulfing, which confirmed the hammer and then it has given a green candle. Potentially there is upside left in Reliance, but if you look at weekly charts, two indecisive dojis and so far, uh, middle of the week is a, but then you, you shouldn't look at this because this is the middle of the week. Middle of the week may a shooting star forming is not a sign of anything because there is a whole V left. Uh, so it will be premature to jump on that. Uh, let's finally daily candle. These are not good volumes. So nothing conclusive here. Good volumes happened here. So yeah, I wouldn't want to bet on Reliance purely because event risk. But if I had to take a bet on Reliance, you know, on one side, right? Somebody again points at Garnet and asks, "Yeah, they will trade Garnet, but then I would go long for the simple reason that there were three big candles here, which were long candles, and there was some consolidation here. There was the volume profile is again here. 
which means the stock is still trading above the zone of volume profile now and there is some more upside left in that channel and the monthly uh, chart has formed a bullish engulfing and you know probably we can see some more upside left in this and the all time high of reliance has not retested etc etc so i think there might be some upside but i i absolutely wouldn't want to trade reliance and you know simply because event is not worth trading like there are so many days when you can trade without any event predictably then why gamble on something which is an event <laughs> but i so let me put it this way would i want to be short on reliance at this point i'll be very very scared of that long not so much so i don't want to be short reliance at this point simply because i think there is some upside left just saying this because people are talking about agm for the fun of it let's see what happens tomorrow right so my bet on reliance if somebody forces me to take a bet will be up and not down chalo we are just taking our neck out uh okay uh somebody is asking is sgx uh, uh so is a fair data inclusive of uh, sgx no it is only nse uh sanjeev is asking who are you supporting in euro trading <laughs> why man <laughs> looks like france will win the cup and it's very unfortunate really <laughs> so um um somebody bought nifty 1500 905 lots at 21 rupees here unfortunately i don't think it is going to cross 15800 tomorrow purely looking at the charts not my opinion uh, okay <clears throat> so that is our analysis for today you guys have a great uh, expiry day trading tomorrow please keep your capital safe and don't uh, unnecessarily bet or compulsively gamble uh, uh, oh somebody is one just one last point somebody saying pcr is very low in reliance and there are more calls than put here yeah, the thing is this right i have always noticed in stock options this option chain pcr all of that none of it works in fact i have seen a very high call build up before on reliance ka agm a year back or something and the stock just went up 5 or 6% on that day so <clears throat> so no i wouldn't want to look at option chain and trade a stock especially on its results results day uh uh yeah mohammed you could be right you are saying upside is already done everyone is bullish on reliance but there could be that one last spike before it all comes down right so i was thinking about that not very short term view not like tomorrow's view or tomorrow immediate view not my view for you know next week or july or something i was not saying reliance is going to be bullish in july i was saying tomorrow it might just be you know uh, uh, yeah jitendra has a question if you have a question you can ask it or you can shoot on helpitsensible.com or my name at sensible.com anyway <laughs> so that is our uh, analysis for today uh, uh, thank you for joining guys keep your capital safe this is not this is not a recommendation of trading uh, call i mean these are not this is not advice or uh, anything like that uh, uh, please keep your capital safe <clears throat> please consult your investment advisor or do your own due diligence before taking a trade uh, so thanks again for joining keep your capital safe tomorrow and have a great expiry and a profitable expiry bye